two hours, 26 minutes to go. Just on our way down to Cork. Staycation. For what? For what? For what? Nice. Well, we're just going for a night away. We got a voucher from my auntie for Christmas for, where was it? Kerry or Killarney or something? Yeah, yeah. Killarney, I think. It's Killarney? Kerry, yeah. it is. And obviously with the whole COVID thing, everything got cancelled and postponed. So we got a like voucher that we could have redeemed against any sort of like trip that we wanted on and um, picked back. So we picked Cork. We left at what time did we leave at? Uh, I think it was about eight o'clock. Yeah, so we are two and a half hours to go. And uh, we'll show you guys we're staying in the Blarney Blarney Mills Hotel. Blarney Mills Hotel. This is the deal we got here. So it's that. So you get dinner. You get like dinner your night, your uh, obviously your night stay in the hotel. You get your two course meal, all that sort of jazz. And it's relatively close to the city centre and all that sort of shit. So we're gonna have a little ramble around, aren't we? We got loads of good suggestions for places to go and things to do in Cork, but a lot of it was like food, wasn't it? Yeah. But uh, yeah, we had a little look and what did you say you wanted to do? Uh, well, I wanted to do like, you know, it's not the ring, like obviously there's ring in Cork, but it's like kind of like something Like Cork. a coastal drive yeah. in Cork. But then there was another thing, what was that thing? Something Spike Island, is it? Mm. So we had a little look and apparently there's a place called Spike Island down here. I'm not sure how you get to it or what you do or you have to pre-book tickets so the plan is to potentially go to Spike Island and we're going to go to a gym that is really well known down here in Cork called Motivated Fitness and it looks the business. We'll uh, show you guys the hotel when we get down there and we'll show you the gym and we'll show you what we get up to whilst we're in Cork so stay with us. So we're on the way down Cork but I, I saw there's a sign for the Rock and Cashel and I saw actually a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah. Um, so we just said we'd go and because Aaron's never been down this direction. No. So we'd go have a look. It's really cool, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can go any further anyway. Yes, there's no entry. Then turn right to stay on Rock Lane. In 200 meters, turn left onto the killed R660. Finally here, we decided to skip the Rock of Cashel because it was pissing rain. So we decided to hit it on the way home and because if we get pissed on, well then, no big deal, we're on the way home. So yeah, we just parked inside Motivated Fitness and about to head in and see what this place is about, see what all the hype is about. We just got in here. The place is actually smaller than it looks online, but the amount of equipment that they've got crammed into the space is insane. Let me just show you. I'm up here on the cardio floor, so it lives over there in the corner, just getting warmed up. So just got the treadmills, some cross trainers, step mill up here, or a stairmaster, and then all this line here is like all your legs, all sort of like chest and back, all in the middle, and now you've got all your dumbbells. These are all fat grip, like Watson dumbbells, which I am buzzing to get stuck into. Place looks epic. How does it feel to be back in the gym? Die. Huh? You gonna die? You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> we dying. First, first time in the gym since March. First leg session since March. It feels so good. Oh. Yeah. So what we started on is a little warm-up set of adductors and abductors and some seated leg curls. So Viv's just finishing off her last set of leg curls, and then what we're gonna start on is this Panatic glute bridge machine and the single leg curl here in the corner. <laughs> It was her first session I, in a gym since March. I didn't do that March. bad though, did I? You did very, very good. But I actually, I thought, say, I'd be, I actually thought I would be a lot weaker than I, I was. I would say the doms are going to be hell Oh great. yeah, like I'm not going to be able to walk tomorrow. Like. Now that we've gotten the directions for the hotel, let me tell you about the gym. It's kind of like a mini gold gym, isn't it? So, I think you follow the road on right here, like the same way that we did. 
but yeah, it's like a mini goal, it's like there's all the hammer strain kit, it's all... And yeah, straight? Yeah, straight over here. It's all hammer strain kit, it's all like... Um, it's, it's, it's machines that you would probably never see in... Like you'd rarely see them in Irish gyms here, you'd only see them in sort of American style gyms. What do you think of it? Yeah, it was class. It was yeah. like deadly, and like especially for my first session back, I was a bit like, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Well, like, oh, she's grand. Yeah, but it's not like I didn't see much conditioning stuff. Like no sort of, I didn't see any assault bikes. I didn't see any ski ergs. I didn't see any um, rowers. I, there was like four, maybe five treadmills on the top, two or three cross yeah, trainers. Yeah, proper like weight. So yeah. it was like a real bodybuilders type gym. Yeah. Um, but. That's not to say that the gym wasn't phenomenal. And the girl there that was working was actually sound, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Fine. She was so nice. So like, and that kind of helps when you go to a gym. Like, or go to a new gym. Like, it it helps to have like sound staff there. But yeah, gym was absolutely phenomenal. And if you're ever in Cork, do yourself a solid and go to that gym. If you're into the gym, that is. So we have arrived, and it looks really cool. Let me just show you guys the hotel. So this is the hotel part over here, and then you've got Delhi Cafe, and then. The like woolen mills is actually that end of the building, so we might have a little gander in there. But apparently, Viv says that this place has award winning scones, and Viv loves a scone. I do love Viv scone. does love a scone, she's partial to a scone. The suspense is killing me, Viv. Will you hurry up? <laughs> That's cool. Anyway, this is, is like, this is our room. Sorry. You don't need a key, but yeah, this is us. What do you think? Yeah, it's so nice. Isn't it? Love it. Where Class. Is the side? You want to go to the window side? Yeah, so okay. you can protect me if someone comes in. So much room for activities. <laughs> right. So we're in the middle of the city. Because the um, sorry, because the uh, cafe, like the restaurant at the, at the hotel, wasn't that great. It was just like a sort of open. It was kind of like an Avoca style, you know, you know, salad bar, sandwiches type shit. So we decided to look for something a little bit better. So we ended up coming into the city, and now we are going to a place called Liberty Grill, which is around this corner up here. Yeah, place looks pretty cool. Also, so many people have told us about this English market and it looks really, really cool. So finally here, we had to actually wait 20 minutes. We had to join a virtual queue because the place was like full. But this is just to give you guys a little bit of a look at the menu. So brunch menu, got eggs benedict. Oh, that looks nice. That black pudding. And this. I'm so good at that. Is cob salad. I love a cob salad. I, I love it. A, minus that blue cheese. Hay cheese. I actually might get two things with. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but we're going for a big dinner tonight. Yeah, I know, but I haven't eaten anything at all. Oh, yeah, you have to. So I'm thinking I might get that open chicken sandwich. And I might get the cob salad as well, minus the cheese. What are you thinking? Oh, I don't know. I might get the eggs benedict. Or um, the open chicken sandwich looks unreal. It does look pretty good. And I'm after seeing it come up here. It looks so good. Really? Yeah, it looks very, very good. So this is what I got. This is like a cob salad minus the cheese. And I got a chicken burger with extra chicken. And I'm going to share the chips. We've got, what'd you get? Um, o open chicken sandwich. Open chicken sandwich. Wow, what's it like? Tasty? Mm -hmm. Nice. So, everywhere here is kind of closing down at the minute, but it's kind of like. Um, what is it? All oh, like sushi and. That's really cool. Sesame oil. Class. It's all these like fresh produce and 
Wow, look at these. I'd say there were so many nice cakes there. Unfortunately, it's closing at the minute. Oh my god, that, like, I'm wearing a mask here, but I can still smell the bread. So cool. Well, what do you think of that anyway? Think about this market. Yeah. It's really cool. It's really cool, isn't it? It's kind of like, um, like I said, it reminds me of like one of the markets in India. Also, I seen this place on the way, and I am getting an ice cream. Well, whole. <laughs> so I got the whole lot of biscuit, or you oh, got the wow. whole lot of bueno, and I got the biscuit something or other. Good. That's unreal. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Nice. Are you gonna eat it with a no spoon? Oh, that's good. And playing around. So it's nice. Yeah. I'm so sad. I don't want that. So stupid. I thought I was recording and I was chatting away there. But anyway, I'm gonna. Friday. Okay, go it's Friday. We have a meal going, but we just pretty much just came back and chilled in the room. But this yeah, room. We're sweating. And we're sweating and dying, and we gotta it's go. So warm. Hell. I know this room it's is. Like Give us a tour for the second time. That's not a tour. So I'll give you guys a little look at the seafood cheddar. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I wanted to get some go. This one that I look so scalded and all. If you did not expect her crab claws. I was talking like this. What then? You trying to do what? Do it again? Bring it back to the room and just whipped it out like this, like lacy pipe and all. I never had a crab claw. Right, taste it and let's yeah. see. Oh, the crab claw bit? Yeah. I think I've, had, I've had crab meat. What? How do you do it? You hold the end of it and Bro, then yeah, you... It's, it's literally scalded hot. Like, Is it? Like scalded before. Try it. Wow. Yeah, it's nice. Nice? Mm. Holy mother of God. <laughs> That's very spicy, is it? I got a certain turf. Oh my god. It is spicy, isn't it? I got a certain turf. And uh, we've got like a Thai red curry. Which taste is, that is so spicy. Is it hella spicy, isn't it? Yeah, like I might taste it once I got but that is spicy. <laughs> I'm dying. What do you think of the steak? We had to swap halfway through. Yeah, I just had to. That's so spicy. So spicy. So I ended up eating the. You didn't even get cold shower. That's when you know it's love. I just yeah, I actually did feel like that was a very big commitment thing. Not very. A very generous thing you did. Happy days. Right, I think that's me done. And I'm gonna save some room for cheesecake. Nice. It's all plain vanilla. I think so, yeah. Is it like exciting though? That is not a slice, that's like... Well... Good. We just got back to the room, and the room, I'm not kidding you guys. This room is... How warm is it, Viv? Oh, it's like It's, and the radiators aren't on, the heating's not on. Like, I'm just after taking out that fan. And we've another two fans in here that we're contemplating <laughs> taking out. Like this room is just on another level. But we popped to the garage around the corner and we just got some shock suez. We got some seven up and we got some excuse me, we got some water. Because obviously you don't want to be sweating in the room and ended up feeling like a raisin in the morning. I have, this room is like it's on it. It's so so bad. So warm. Anyway. That's us for today. That's Stay with us though, because we're going to be vlogging all tomorrow. And Stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's yeah. like a two day vlog. But what are we doing tomorrow? I'm going back to that motivated fitness for an upper body session. I might do a little bit of conditioning. Yeah, I'm going to go to the gym here. There is a gym here. Yes, I want to go there. I might have imagine it. it's like literally just a cross or something. I might actually have a little nosy to that gym in the morning and see What's what that? it looks like or what it looks like. 
and just show you guys what the hotel gym is actually like here um, but I'm probably going to go to that motivated fitness Viv is going to go to the uh, gym here in the hotel so if, you get up, if you get up too late you're not going I'm going to get up I want to go back to that gym okay. anyway listen look I'll check in with you guys in the morning and uh, stick with us good morning it's half seven and I wanted to try to show you guys the gym, just in case you were thinking about coming down here and you're worried about the type of gym that this uh, hotel has. I think it's actually down here. I think I just got lucky and walked this way. I don't know if there's anybody in here. Anyway, your room key opens the door for the gym. Holy oh, shit, this is actually... Pretty okay. We've got some spin bikes. You got a really shitty old cross trainer. Some treadmills. A couple of rowers that look like they're from. <laughs> look like they're literally from the arcs. So these dumbbells are like <laughs> dumbbells you would see in like a really old bodybuilding gym. And there was obviously somebody in here because there's dumbbells all over the floor. There is a life fitness cable machine, which is pretty good. Still, again, it's probably really old. <laughs> like, this is the oldest Smith machine I've ever seen in my life. Jesus. A couple of machines over here. Whoa! Got a pretty good leg curl. That's it. Lion leg curl, leg press, shoulder press, like a standing shoulder press in the corner. Peck fly, a little bit of abs in the corner, leg extensions. Well, the lap pull down is broke. So, somebody obviously went hella hard on it. But yeah, I suppose you could get a good session in here if you wanted to. A little bit of battle ropes. Yeah, you could do a good session in here. But, I am opting for motivated fitness this morning. Good morning. Oh god. Just then have a breakfast. You got your session done, didn't you? Mm -hmm. well, I didn't do much. Like, What'd you do? I just walked and tried my phrases and then did the lines. I was like so full, so I was like I have to walk and try to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> we just came down for breakfast. Well I went to um I'm gonna have full Irish. You're gonna have full Irish? I went to Motivated Fitness this morning. Yeah, it was Well, it was alright, it was better. Yeah. I actually remember I was saying yesterday in the vlog that it didn't look like it had like a conditioning session section. Yeah. Like it had like a. It does, does it? It does have like a small sort of strip of grass and one but skier. Yeah, but it's near the, the sort right. of. Yeah, oh, yeah it's near right. the sort of door, but like it's, uh, it's only like one skier, a little strip of grass, like not too much. But we just came down for breakfast in the hotel. And these are the choices. Thank you very much. So I think I'm gonna go for the avocado toast. Oh, I want more than one. You want more than one breakfast? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so this is mine, and that is Viv's. Yes, Viv's choice today. Viv's better choice today. We just got back from breakfast. Breakfast was nice, wasn't it, Viv? Oh, Viv did get the better option today. I got avocado toast thinking it'd be nice. Two slices of sourdough toasted, lovely avocado, couple of eggs. Bread wasn't toasted, so then the bread was all soggy because of the avocado. And it was it was nice, but it was like, it wasn't the best choice. Viv got like a full Irish breakfast, which you guys seen. And also, you guys thought we were joking about the fans in this room. There's one, two, Three. This that is literally how warm this room was last night. We had three fans going pretty much the entire night, didn't we, Viv? Oh, the room was a joke. What? The room was a joke. It was so warm, wasn't it? Oh like my god. Yeah. I pretty much just slept outside the covers, like I didn't even get into the bed. So Viv, Viv got half into it. I I didn't even get into the bed. I just slept in a pair of boxers and it was just roasted. 
anyway. So our plan is to, my auntie actually suggested we should go to Blarney Castle, which is, I Google mapped it just about two minutes ago, and it's about 600 meters away. So our plan is to just throw the bags into the car and walk. Come to Blarney Castle and Gardens. So just to come in here and oh yeah, but I think it's pretty big walk around. Right. Like obviously there's like loads of little shops, so like as soon as you come in on the right hand side, there's like a little coffee shop. And then a little ice cream shop too. Um, but yeah, it's uh, 18 quid in each. <laughs> I should have got my student card. I know, yeah. But realistically, I think this is one of the things that puts people off doing like vacations here in Ireland or staycations. Oh, things are so expensive in Ireland. But then again, these places have to be maintained and looked after and all that type of stuff. So it's a. Uh, I suppose it's a small price to pay for. You're supposed to be able to come to a place like this and see sites like this because you never really sort of, you never really appreciate stuff like this at home, don't you not? No. Um, and as well, you, you never, never see it if you're like going abroad all the time. You know what I mean? You don't, yeah. see, you don't see Ireland really. Yeah. You don't take the time to actually go to these places and see these types of sites and stuff like that because you're too busy looking to get out of here. But yeah. Like when you come through these trees, you can see the castle. Let me show you. Wow, oh, that is some view, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and look, you can go up to it and everything. Look, there's people going up the stairs. It's really cool. What do you think? It's class, isn't it? Like that. What's that? Imagine you had your house in slits for windows. Slits for windows? Stairs leads to one of the castles and look through their garden row or indoor lavatory. Is that the toilet? I'll take a look. I'll take a look. A wooden seat for three people with a run along the outer wall. It was built into the north wall. The prevailing wind being from the opposite direction. <laughs> Basically, there's a big wooden thing that holds it, and you just want to take a dump, and then the wind blows it away and it goes out. <laughs> Show us how it works. <laughs> Jesus. This is, if you're claustrophobic at all, I would. Uh, Suggest. Is there a slide at the top of this? I don't know. This is like crazy. <laughs> yeah, if you're claustrophobic, guys, I don't think this is for you. So, oh my god, we're not even at the top yet. <laughs> More steps by. Oh, are we nearly at it? Oh, you can kiss it. So this is where the Blarney Stone is. So look, we're at the very top. Head back in the hole or something. I'm not doing it. You're not doing it. I presume the exit. Oh, the exit over there. So you go around. So this is the Blarney Stone. This is the family room. And there's where we were. Actually, sorry, we were up where those two people are up. In up there. So that's where the Blarney Stone is and you sort of walk around the top of the castle. But where are you? I'm here. Whoa. Whoa. Came across a room called Murder Hall. Whoa, this is tight. What is it? Floor of this, on the floor of this, is the murder hole that originally allowed the lobby allowed to be covered. Oh. Anyway, it's Blarney Castle walk through Blarney Stone. I kind of felt. Did you feel bad not doing it? Kind of, but then I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, like like whatever for like social distancing and all that, like kissing a piece yeah, of wall. Yeah, but kissing a piece of wall or a piece of brick, that's so. <laughs> that 
thousands of people have probably kissed before or touched and there's the toilets just there look oh my gosh um, yeah it wasn't for us today but we will come back and do it sometime because it is a really sort of old obviously Irish tradition when you come down here to do that Blarney Stone from the outside I said when you think about it like what a weird tradition like you hang upside down on the outside of a castle and kiss a piece of rock we were just talking about how well the whole place is kept like the grass looks like like Viv just said it looks like a golf course but it actually does like and it's like it kind of justifies that it justifies that 18 quid that you're paying in because you look around and you're like holy shit this place is just kept so well like if you look from where we're just after coming we're coming all the way around the castle is like over that direction now we're looking for I think Blarney House is just up here on the left hand side through these trees oh look at this yeah it's huge that's insane <laughs> that's what's done yeah. well, what do you think very 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 nice is it nice yeah would you funny. recommend people to come see Blarney Castle, Blarney Gardens, Blarney Stone. House, yeah, Blarney it's Stone. Stone. Very nice. Definitely, definitely come here when you, uh, if you're down in Cork. We've just stopped to uh, the Rock of Cashel on the way home. We said we'd visit this place <laughs> on the way home because we, we didn't. It in because we didn't. Uh, All Granny's Kitchen Cafe. That's cool. We didn't uh, visit the place on the, the way out because the weather was pretty shit. But this is what it sort of looks like from the outside. So this is it. What a view. There is a one-way system here. We met a guy just there that was guiding people around and he basically said that there's normally tours um, that they take you around and obviously they explain all the, I suppose, the heritage of the place, but because of Covid the history of the place should I say but since um, obviously Covid's kicked off um, they're not doing any sort of guided tours so it's just like this one way system around the whole place and if you come here yeah, free. you it is free but if you stay more than 20 minutes you're sort of stuck in the car park because there's no well if you have cash you're fine, well, if you have cash, you're fine. But uh, if you don't, if you don't have cash, you have to walk all the way into town or to the nearest garage to get cash from the ATMs because it says there's an ATM right here, but there's actually not. It's just a little cottage that's, I suppose, getting renovated. But yeah, Rock of Cashel ticked off the list. God, it's such a long journey home, isn't it? Absolutely, three and a half hours. We made a wee pit stop in Blanche. We picked up some Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, because we're being fat this weekend. <laughs> this weekend is all about balance, isn't it? It's absolutely hashtag balance and all that sort of shit. So we're Bank holiday weekend too. We're just gonna pull up to Aaron's aunt's house and give them some donuts. Because we don't eat them all. Yeah, because Aaron got a pack of what twelve. We got the share pack, yeah. Oh Actually, 17, is it? Is no, it? no, no, no. It was 17 yeah. euro for the share oh, pack. It's so yeah, you can't pick your own donuts anymore, so it's either like a share box or a mixed box. Or like twelve of the original glaze. Do you want to hold? And that's Very pretty heavy. much it. Very heavy. But yeah, that's our crack. That's our crack. That's our little staycation. We were actually looking on. Um, well, Viv was looking on Group One on the way home, and we were looking on Pigs Back as well. Yeah. For other little staycations here in Ireland. Seeing as we're like. Seeing as we can't go anywhere, we might as well country. make most of Ireland. Yeah. Getting away, and there is some pretty good deals on for like hotel dinner. Like our stay was what it was one hundred and one thirty or one hundred and thirty euro, and it was included, included 
your dinner and, and your breakfast and yeah your your stay you don't have to get the dinner included. you don't have to get the dinner oh yeah and you don't have to get the dinner included if you don't well, get the dinner and if you don't get the dinner included it's cheaper i think that's apple is that the apple i have no idea but anyway listen we're gonna sign out from this vlog thank you guys for watching give the video a thumbs up if you did like it comment below and let us know if you enjoyed these types of videos and if you want us to do sort of more of these types of videos <laughs> anyway listen Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.